Um, I have to say at the beginning of this interview so uh, that uh, I actually wish to uh, uh, avoid to answer directly to this question because actually I don't know what this means in therapy. So I have very, very open mind in the front of this uh, Venice Biennale. Now I think and I feel uh, the word or pair of words face to face is more important and also together. So it's a, a big uh, and important uh, uh, event to see uh, colleagues from Nordic countries and also to compare what is going on in Scandinavian countries today in architecture, in contemporary architecture especially. This is uh, actually a very wide question too, because uh, uh, there is uh, a lot of common features between uh, Sweden, Norway and Finland and Denmark, but also differences. And uh, uh, I think, uh, however, somehow we have still some kind of uh, uh, common understanding around architecture. So our way to approach architecture is, uh, is really uh, somehow similar between all of us. Also, one explanation to that uh, perhaps is uh, uh, our universities and schools of architecture because our education is based on uh, the same uh, way to think and to, on uh, the same strategy still. So maybe a certain uh, design-based uh, architecture is still the strongest uh, side of uh, Scandinavian architecture. So uh, for me, uh, uh, so-called uh, um, conceptual-based architecture comes uh, more from uh, the continent, from, uh, from Holland, from uh, today also from Japan. But uh, just uh, how we approach architecture, uh, taking into account uh, side by side the concept and the design that is uh, still the strongest side in uh, architecture in Scandinavia. And I think the most, uh, uh, it's, it's the strongest uh, common feature between these countries too. I wish to come back to the previous question actually. So our way to approach is uh, to make very, very, I think so. Maybe some other people see it a different way, but uh, uh, my point of view is uh, however in design. So of course, uh, uh, let's say to make uh, uh, analysis and to study uh, the whole context of uh, the process that is absolutely important at the beginning. It's one part of very, very pragmatical work of an architect. Some could argue that this is a part of uh, uh, a conceptual design. But uh, for us, this is more, more uh, uh, to uh, make clear starting points, uh, to set uh, up uh, 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 goals for the further steps of the design, but then very, very soon comes uh, design itself. Materiality, absolutely. This is something you have to consider just at the beginning of the process. Without materials, uh, first of all, I, I can't approach architecture, actually not at all. And in that sense, uh, mm, I think a good way, or we try to keep, of course, a certain distance uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, pragmatical things, of course, all the time. You, have, you can't consider all uh, the requirements of uh, law, demands of uh, your client, and so you have to uh, 
keep a certain distance to these uh, uh, pragmatical and practical issues. But however, they are somewhere there behind you. And uh, in, uh, in this uh, mm, frame, in the context, uh, and a part of that are some pragmatical issues too. you have then to operate. And uh, that is uh, uh, actually very, very uh, demanding today, at least here in Finland, to work because uh, our building code is uh, becoming more and more demanding in many ways. We have uh, new energy requirements and, and rules and so to consider and also of course uh, uh, economic and it means more and more in, uh, in, in architecture. So in that sense uh, this is really really uh, uh, one could uh, compare this uh, 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 how uh, how, how uh, is uh, and how works uh, let's say dance in a box so that is uh, that is uh, but you should uh, consider also and to keep uh, wide enough let's say border lines of your your box however I think Venice Biennale is absolutely to the, uh, to the European architects to ask this is most important. There are several uh, events, exhibitions, uh, biennales and triennales around architecture uh, in, uh, in many other countries too, but uh, I think this Venice Biennale is, is absolutely important. So it's a kind of uh, overview what is going on today globally, not only in architecture but all, also in art and in our social life and that is uh, that is uh, most interesting to see and every year of, of course it's important to and interesting to see and to meet uh, uh, and to visit uh, um, pavilions of uh, different countries because uh, actually in these uh, pavilions because uh, every country has uh, its own uh, 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 own uh, uh, how to say freedom to make actually whatever and just today for instance I'm curious to see once again uh, some uh, uh, East European countries pavilions because uh, they are and these countries are growing up very very strongly today and, uh, and, and to see what is going, going on in these countries today. Absolutely I, I of course there uh, are signs of uh, criticism every time I can understand it. I understand very very much also criticism against uh, or in the front of uh, a BNL in Venice for instance but uh, but more I see only let's say positive sides in uh, in uh, in this BNL and uh, also what is good small detail uh, uh, the opening uh, ceremony takes place late May and I think this is very good seasonal moment to, to open a certain nature is flourishing and uh, it's it's good moment to, to open this 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 year and, uh, and and the summer many many ways <laughs>